Money Can't Buy Love. Part 6. Sasha, it seems he noticed me. Sasha's friend Katya quickly hid behind the curtain when Victor looked out their window. Get away from the window. I don't want him to think that I'm watching him. Sasha answered sternly, burying herself in the pillow. Are you sure that Ima told you the truth? You yourself know that he is breathing unevenly towards you. Why would he lie? And it's a strange coincidence that he immediately began to show attention to me. So you say that you are some kind of dreadful man. You are a pretty girl, anyone could pay attention to you. Cat, everyone, close the topic. You are strange. Such a man, she could have played along with him. You look, and you would soon have moved out of this hold. And I'll move. Not in this way. By Sasha's voice, Katya realized that it was pointless to continue this conversation. That's a guy like that. Eh, hey, okay, then help me find a new dress. Another? How many of them do you already have? The scholarship came, so it should be noted. Moreover, it is cheaper to order on the internet. The girls buried themselves in the laptop. After half an hour of arguing, Katya poked the button and the dress was ordered. After that, the girls went to bed. Sasha could not sleep for a long time. All her thoughts were occupied by Victor. The young man was sympathetic to her. She recalled their first walk in the park. That day Victor did not seem to her as a spoiled boy who bet on a girl. But the words of Dima's friend stuck in her head. She was too proud, so she could not afford to continue communicating with Victor. In a bad mood, the girl barely fell asleep. In the morning she was going to couples. Going downstairs, at the common dance counter, she saw a delicate bouquet of roses. Beautiful flowers Anna Petrovna. She has already passed by, but then the sleepy voice of the commandant stopped her. So this is for you, from a rich groom. There is also a note. Listen, what happened yesterday? You somehow quickly returned. Petrovna asked with interest. Um, nothing interesting. Anna Petrovna, I'm already late, I have to run for a couple. Keep the flowers for yourself and throw the note away. Goodbye. Sasha turned around and quickly left the hostel. Well, well, nothing interesting. A youth. Anna Petrovna muttered in her wake. Sash, we need to develop the magazine. And the best start is to publish an article about the rich bachelors of Moscow, you know, so that the predators pay attention to the article. You need to collect material. Here is a list of those who need to be interviewed. You have a week to prepare the material, can you handle it? Yes of course. Confidently said the girl. He handed her a list, it consisted of 10 names. Sasha quickly scanned it, but she did not recognize anyone's surname. Before starting work, Sasha decided to look on the internet for those whom she needed to interview and prepare a number of questions. The penultimate one on the list was a certain Victor, her heart sank a little, and when she saw the same Victor in the photo, the girl was thrown into a sweat. Are you kidding me? There was a wild desire to refuse this task, but since she was on probation, she could not afford it. With Victor, she decided to be interviewed last. Every day, when the girl went down the stairs, she saw a new bouquet at Anna Petrovna's counter, but she always passed by. After school, she hurried to meetings with bachelors, interviewed them. Sasha wanted to show her boss that she was a valuable employee, so she coped with the task ahead of schedule. She had seven days to complete, but on the fifth day there was only one name left. She kept his number, the girl could not decide to call for a long time. When she mustered up the courage, she dialed his number, and after the second ring, she heard his voice. Hello, Sasha. Yes, hello Victor. Um, I'm calling about. She didn't have time to finish. 
I beg you, let's meet. Victor, listen to the end. I work for the magazine Secret City, I was given the task of interviewing bachelors in Moscow. Tell me, would it be convenient for you to meet me tomorrow at lunchtime? The girl's voice trembled. Sasha, yes, of course. Then let's meet, um, where would you be comfortable? I can drive up to your office. The girl did not want to meet somewhere in a restaurant, did not want to create a romantic atmosphere. Okay, in SMS I will throw off the address. Excellent, all the best, see you tomorrow, Victor. See you tomorrow, Alexandra. The girl hung up. My heart was pounding at a breakneck speed, and my palms were wet. Returning to the hostel, she saw a bouquet from Victor. She went up to Petrovnu and asked if she got rid of the notes that had been put into the bouquet. Of course, Anna Petrovna did not throw them away, she neatly put them in the nightstand. The commandant held out a stack of unopened envelopes, Sasha was even surprised that they remain sealed, all the more knowing Petrovna, who always pokes her nose into other matters. Going up to her room, Sasha hesitantly opened the first envelope. In each letter, Victor asked her for forgiveness, wrote that she had misunderstood everything. And in each letter he made an appointment for her, wrote that every evening he would wait for her in the park, where they walked for the first time. She did not understand how she was feeling, but decided that now it was better for her to focus on her studies and work, she did not have time for a relationship. With these thoughts, she went to bed. In the morning, Sasha woke up before the alarm clock, because she needed to prepare for a meeting with Victor, continued follows. Sign so you don't lose the sequel.